Hey guys, I've got Quinn with me today and today we are doing the April braid box video. We've got our box here and we're excited to open it up and show you what you get inside. So the first thing that you get is a little basket of Easter eggs. And these eggs are pretty great because they have ribbons attached to them so they're easier to attach into the hair for styles. You also get a set of three different types of ribbon and then you get these cute little bunny clips and you also get a headband. This is important for the style that we're gonna do. And the last thing you get is a microfiber hair towel, as in like rabbit hair towel, get it? Um, this is a great hair towel. We use it out of the shower and we also use it sometimes in the shower when we're doing like deep conditioning treatments. So we're so excited for you to get those things and we wanna talk a little bit about the hairstyle we're gonna do. It's an Easter basket updo and we're gonna start with Quinn's hair in two ponytails. We're gonna use the headband to go into each ponytail and kind of make the handle of the basket and then we're gonna do five strand braids off these and connect them to make the uh, body of the basket. And the last thing I wanted to tell you too, in this box you also get some green crinkle cut paper. So feel free to use this to add it to the top of your basket like you would a normal Easter basket uh, before you put the eggs and all the other things in. So we hope that you enjoy this box. We're so excited to show you how to do this. And with that, we're gonna get started. Before braiding the ponytails, reserve a small section of hair to wrap around the headband. Secure it out of the way with a clip. Then braid each ponytail into a five strand braid. To do this, take section number one, under number two, and over number three. Combine sections two and three in your right hand before moving to the left side. Then take section number five, under number four, and over number one. Combine sections one and four in your left hand and return to the right. That completes one line of the braid. Renumber the sections and repeat. Take section number one, under number two, and over number three. Combine sections two and three in your right hand and move to the left side. Take section number five, under number four, and over number one. Combine sections one and four in your left hand and return to the right. Continue repeating until done. You will only need to make the braid long enough to loosely reach the other ponytail, so you may not need to braid the hair all the way down. When done, secure with an elastic. Then gently pull or pancake the braid to stretch it wider. Repeat making another five strand braid on the other ponytail. When done, secure with an elastic and then pull or pancake the braid wider also. Next, before inserting the headband into the base of the ponytails, place a thin elastic a few times around one end. Then insert the end of the headband through the first part of the braid before inserting it into the base of the ponytail. Inserting the headband through the first part of the braid positions the braid to lay on its side, helping it to better form the side of the basket. Repeat on the other side. Next, I will wrap the headband with the section of hair I reserved. Before doing this, I like to spray it with water to help prevent flyaways. Keep some tension on this section as you wrap it and continue to spray with water or comb it smooth as needed. If the hair is too short to reach the other side, you could reserve a section of hair from both ponytails before starting and place the elastic in the middle or the top of the headband. When you are finished, you could hide the elastic by tying a bow out of ribbon at this spot. When you reach the elastic on the other side, secure the end of the section of hair into it.
Next, position the two braids to form the sides of the basket and temporarily secure them in place with clips. Starting on one side, remove the elastic from the end of the braid. Then one by one, separate out each of the five sections of the braid and pull them through the other braid. To do this, use clips to hold the sections you are not working with and then with one hand, reach two fingers through the back side of the other braid, grab the first section and pull it through. Do this with each of the five sections working from top to bottom and inserting them through the same corresponding area of the other braid. This will make the braid look like one continuous braid going around. Once all five sections are pulled through, comb them smooth and then secure them together with an elastic. Repeat on the other side. Because Quinn's hair is so long, I like to do a simple braid in each of these bundles of hair because it makes them easier to bobby pin into place. Next, secure the basket in place with bobby pins. To add the eggs, select the ones you like and combine them together with an elastic. Then attach a bobby pin to them and secure them to the hair at the top of the head. I repeated this with a second bundle of eggs. Next, add some Easter basket grass or the green crinkle cut paper from the box. And then finish by tying ribbon onto each side of the basket and making bows.
And that's it, you're all done. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up below. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on what we're doing next. Thanks so much.